What you got here? Well, let me hop out. We brought you a 1940 Chev. Two-door sedan. <laughs> wow. All the way from Missouri. Well, welcome to the desert. Who you got here? That is Caden, a.k.a. Red. What's up, Red? Welcome to the desert, guys. Awesome. So I'm assuming this is the newest project that Ian and I had been talking about. Hi. Hey, man. It's good to good see, see you. Ian. This is exactly what I was needing. I was hoping so. 40? This is a 40. Two-door sedan, as you can see. Yeah. Interesting. What do you think? Is it's in better here? shape than my project. Is it? Yeah. You got to see what happened to that. <laughs> the, uh, the body is a little different, but... Jamie had an idea. Jamie was like, uh, while Dave's here, why don't you just chop it? If you're into that. Man, I'm all about that. Let's just cut it up, <laughs> man. chopping it? Caden, what do you think? Sounds real good to me. You wanna just <laughs> chop this thing? But uh, I'll show you the other car. I got some ideas. Um, it got hit by the shed, so you got to see, see that. That's a whole different yeah. story. But I'm having some ideas because I prefer a car with running boards. Yes. That one's a little bit later, so it has yeah. a little swoop in the body. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like this style better. I dig that too as well. What do you think of that front end? It's got I a cool, love it. It's got a cool look to it, does it not? Yeah, the car that I had, it's got no dashboard parts, no chrome. The hood is all, the whole car is molded out. It was a street yeah. rod. So one piece nose, no grill or custom grill. I love this. Sweet. That's good to hear, man. Yeah. I think we should just. Uh, got some metal there. <laughs> that ain't no. steel. That ain't no pop can. It's interesting too, because uh, Missouri, the yeah. Cadillac was pretty rusty, but not as rusty as New York, not as rusty as the Northeast. The, the winters there are pretty mild, but yeah, they do put a little salt on the road a little bit. But it seems like times went on and things are getting warmer everywhere else. It really, it's not that big a problem anymore, is it, Caden? No, it's not a No. A lot, a lot of cars that we have don't have that much rust. You I know? love it. But we do get the rain, though, a little bit, so. Yeah, we get a little bit of rain, but nothing like that. You get a monsoon in, like, yeah. Jan January. <laughs> yeah, we do. Or something like that. Right. I have an idea. I don't know what the dimensions are between the two cars, but I love the roof line on that. And I'm not crazy about the roof line on this, but I love the body style way more. What are you thinking about back here? There's too much real estate going right. on back here. Let's pull this around and get off the trailer. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Yeah, right. And you say that tire holds air? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, these, these just are getting under, broken in. They're under warranty. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to give it a shot. There's a tube in there. That is a fine piece of history. And if it airs up for a little bit, roll it off the trailer. We will. I want to take a minute to talk about our sponsor for this video. Uh, it's BetterHelp. It's a therapy website. It can connect you with licensed therapists, over 30,000 of them. Uh, people have a lot of issues in their life. I'm no different. I've used therapy in the past before. I saw this. It's an online option. A lot of people say, Ian, you're so put together, make it look so easy, you're on TV. And I'm no different than anybody else. I've used therapy in the past in a lot of different venues. I'm an extremely introverted person. I got a lot of stuff going on to keep this brain on the rail. Therapy in the past has worked for me. To get started with BetterHelp, it's super simple. It's three steps. Step one is you get online, you answer some questions. Uh, step two is they connect you with a licensed therapist. The third step is an appointment via phone, video chat, or text. One of the most interesting things that's brought me to want to talk about this is all the messages I get. People that have literally said, man, I was in the darkest days of my mental state. Watching your show and seeing your commitment and your motivation has really inspired me. Well, my commitment and motivation has come from just trying to live my best life. I was actually seeking therapy when I was going through different struggles. We're all the same thing, right? So to just make that step, to pursue something that's going to help you lead to your best self, that's really where it's at. If you're considering choosing therapy, go to betterhelp.com. You can click on the link below, use the code FULLCUSTOM, and get 10% off of your first 30 days of therapy. those tires hold air. 
Hey, I'm, Caden. I'm ready for a new level of being impressed. So, uh, have to get... It's like a Mickey Mouse cartoon. When they put the bandages on the tires. Good thing I got a tire machine sitting right over there. I tell you what, those were under warranty. I don't... Hurry up, because the back was almost flat. <laughs> How long will it hold? We don't know. Are you ready? You're gonna make it, kid. Can Just you keep can you, the wheel hey, straight and pray? Can you, can you kind of see out your? Let's fix your mirror a little bit. Is that is that better? You gonna just push? Keep your wheel right there, Red. All right, on your side, Ian. I'll do. Check this out. Maybe. <laughs> Work good 46. So oh, it's a trash see, bag. I love it. You can see it's hid. Yeah. A mystery. Little bell. Some authentic Missouri rainwater. Ah. So we actually stuck that in there. Okay. It's a 216 Babbitt rod engine. Heard it run on the stand. This come from a good friend of mine. So hmm. hopefully somebody out there in the world may be able to use that. Anybody need the 216 Babbitt engine straight six yes guaranteed to run guaranteed comes with a set of four flat tires what could possibly go wrong hey. right. drives like a dream it does man it rolls how are you to that post too close you good a little bit how's that i like it Pretty nice all right so this is the thing. The minute I saw this coming down the driveway, I knew that this was going to be the car we're going to build. That gray one has just become parts. I like that. Jamie said chop it, so I think we should chop it. But I had an idea. Let's walk out to this gray car. Right. Obviously, the front of this one is smashed. It's kaput. It's no good. What if... I want to use this roof, right? Yeah. What if we cut this car right here and put the whole back of the car on that one? Put this on the and back. And the pillar, right. Right here. Right. Roll with this. Put that pillar right through. Through those doors? Because this trunk lid is in much better shape than yours because yes. yours is rusted. Correct. It's got cool hinges installed with the strut. And see the tin work that somebody yeah, did? Yeah, somebody's already tubbed on it. So I wasn't really happy with that because right. this was set up like drag car style, you yeah, know. Back yeah. in the day, they would put the big Mickey Thompsons in there and it's all just really sheet metal screwed together. Mm -hmm. So we can cut the whole back of the top skin of the car off. So we keep those fenders, but we keep this deck lid right in. Man, I'm totally in. <laughs> when do we... Came out here for you like the tail light? Is that custom? Was that an LED? Yeah, an LED? had an LED strip in there. That kind of reminds me of a guy you hang out with. Victor, yeah. Victor. He yeah, he would do stuff like that. Like that sometimes. But it, I, I don't know if this, you know, the turret top they right. call it. I don't know if the curve matches that windshield. So it might get a little dicey. Like, so may, let, let me ask you a question. So are you thinking use our doors over there? and get that angle. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So we that would just- A pillar stays. Stays. And this B pillar gets swapped in. I follow. I mean, look how curvy this is. I do, I know it's a little bit curved up because of that, but I have a contour gauge. Let's yeah. compare. Cause that one looks a lot flatter. Okay. What do you think, Jamie? I think it's awesome. Man, I'm so tickled to death about us using that 40 over there. That means I know a lot. it's a really special car to you. It is a very special car to me. And so we'll just see what the contour is on this. That one sure looks a lot flatter. All right. Nice. Did you make that? No, I don't remember where I got them. It's a that, contour gauge. That is a great idea. It's flexible. So you can tell what shape things are. That is cool. Push it on down, tighten it up, and now you have your curve. And so transfer to the other car, see what that looks Let's like. See what's up. This one looks definitely flatter. Whole lot flatter. Well, we could smush it out. Well, or, or the pancake look for a chop top is the lower yep. profile one. Yep. 
So maybe we pull the windshield right into that. I mean, we'll see the difference, but. So I'm gonna walk over here with you. So we're gonna cut on this line. Uh, that line, yeah. And we're gonna come down, we'll figure that out yeah. in a bit. And we're gonna end up snipping that sucker off somewhere in this vicinity, correct? I, I think this roof will get cut off somewhere in here. Back. And maybe this, maybe this dome will transfer into that because it's so round. Uh -huh. This might just slide forward with the chop. I follow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready, man. Well, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not real sure, but I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Well, why don't you guys just cut this off right at this line? Cut the whole roof right off. So we'll cut this sucker all the way yeah. around right here. Yeah. And where do you want me to cut here? I'm going to mark these. This is going to stay one piece for now. Okay. We're going to leave the roof. So when I cut, just cut right here. Then what do you want me to do after that? Uh, we're going to, I'm going to mark this for the chop. Okay. So then we're going to do the same to that car. Okay. And we're going to bring that roof over and just look at it. Okay. All right. Well, let me get my gloves. Make oh. a little surprise for us once well, we start cutting. And, uh, <laughs> All got... right. So I'm going to make some chalk lines and you can cut it off. All right. So here's a playbook. All right. Um, Sawzall right through that pillar. Okay. Actually, yeah, what the heck we go? Let's put it back on. Sawzall right through there. Let's follow that. Now we will save the entire roof. Okay. Do these glass windows roll down the back? Yeah, that's uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Neat. So go all the way through, cut it all up. All the way. Everything. That's the only way to come off. Right? Right through. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. The only way to come off. And I'm going to mark the windshield too for the chop. All right. We're definitely going to chop it at least four inches. So I'll set up. Where is your weapons of choice? Yeah. So I got. Making sure nobody's in there, you know, before we get started. Ooh. He said cut it. We're cutting it. Got me a cord. So we were talking about doing a chop class, so maybe this is it. Hey. <laughs> we're I'm talking there. about doing a chop class in November, maybe this is it. But we could always do another one. So this is a little bit different from a standard chop because we're swapping the roof, but we are gonna chop it. But we don't know if that roof is even gonna come close to fitting this car. That's the exciting part. About, I didn't even measure nothing. We're about to find out. That one's so smashed, we're gonna do whatever it takes. All right, I'm gonna get loud. Have any more where's your cutoff wheels what's that where where's the rest of your cutoff wheels oh there's a whole rack of them here on the wall oh. This is interesting. What's up? These might be doors from different cars. You think this so? This doesn't have a deluxe stainless trim. Look at this. That other door had this on it. Oh. Huh. Let's see if it'll fit on the... Deluxe stainless trim. Look, that other door has holes all the way around it. So is it just a fancier addition or something, huh? Something fancier, a little more jewelry on it. Yeah. But that's the right... <laughs> 
That's the right shape, though. Yeah, so no, it's just probably one came with a better chrome, and maybe this car got crashed. Door handles look the same. I might have killed your grinder. Yeah, I got more. Is it dead? That one is kind of on its last legs. Sounds like, yeah. Sounds like the brushes have had a little too much. I'm going to just start cutting this car in the opposite of where that car is being cut. And we're going to mash them up and see what happens. Caden, we'll let him get in here. He's a small guy. And he can, he can, whoa, girl. Yeah. He, he can rip that down and uh, yeah, yeah. we can pull see where to go. Out. We can pull out that back seat. Pull out grandma's couch. Yep. <clears throat> look at this. Even, hey, look at the ashtray. Yeah, I know. Ain't that so cool? Back in the day. Well, look, secret little box. Look at that. What's in there? Gold? That thing's alive. There's always something so cool about the old cars. The seats are just deluxe. Here's it. What's in it? I know. What's in there? It's got some bolts and a socket. It's now your new little treasure chest. You know, you go to the dentist, you, you know, you get some candy after you get a tooth pulled or something. Well, you get a car, you get some extra bolts to go with it so never know <clears throat> don't have to worry about being gentle let's rip it all out so i can see where to cut okay start up here let me get you there's a door handles take the bottom with your knees and kind of push in like that to the back push it back and then go up There's grandma's couch, Ian. Yep, chuck it in the back. Might need to rest later. Well, I'll have to cut through there. Watch out. You got glasses on? Save this piece, right? Yeah. We have all those nice latches on the other car, but uh, this is kind of what I was describing. We all went to town, all three of us, like wild people. Tools in each hand. <laughs> this is what we came up with. Uh, both roofs are disconnected. Uh, that deck lid, that trunk is staying with that roof. So we took this one and completely dissected it from the body. Wires and all. Yeah. So this roof should pop off.
think? You want to muscle it? Let's do it. Caden? Why don't we try this? Uh, we'll just, it'll be easier to take over from the car. Let's try to rotate it like that. Okay. Let's just spin it that way. It's long. Oh, We're still attached somewhere? Uh, yes, oh, sir. There. Hold on. Just one. Yeah, I got a little uh, sheet metal snips will do it for me, too. On your side, too? Yeah. Pick up just a little cadence more. So I can see just a very little bit. All right. Try that again. So we're going to spin the windshield to you. Can you grab that by the front? You got it. Let's walk it out the door. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying that we can go over the car. Let's put it on the floor right here. Look at that, it's a roadster. What do we need to get out of the way? Well, I can see already, let's cut. Let's cut that. Okay. Cut this tray, cut all the winders right out. All right. And then get a chalk. So you can see what I'm getting at here? Yes, sir. Right up to where you cut here. Okay. Take your interior right out. All right. And I got a, I got an air chisel too. If you need that. You got what? Air chisel if you need that. Okay. You want me to just slice it here? Or you want me to come down through here? Yeah, I'll do that with the disc because I could see. Yeah, I could see how it's going to work out. Okay. I'll do it. just whatever you can reach out. All right. There. Let me just start this cut because I can see yeah, down here, me, and then I'll do it to you. Grab it by the disc. Let me take this loose. This is close one. Yeah. Yeah. This is close. Hold me. Yeah. All right, let's chuck that other trunk on there. Well, maybe we should cut this out with the disc. Where do you want me to cut it? Right Just on like the this. Th put the disc flat, go right under there. Go Get right it. under the Yes, because that's all rusty anyway. Okay. Build a custom rear trim. All right. Yeah. It's all bunko. Yeah, just go straight from the surface of the trunk floor. Because this is still usable. It's a darn good shape. It's a little rust on the corner, but fixable. Yeah, totally. Right. This one's still good, but it's a flat sheet metal. You need a little bit more reach. It's got its purpose. That one's still. I didn't wake up thinking we we're gonna do this. I think it's so awesome. That's the good thing apart about <laughs> it. I mean, you wake up. Hey. What's going to happen today? Let's cut a car apart. Let's just sure. see what happens. What the heck? I like how that one comes on slow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it yeah. like... kind of reminds me of some of my dad's old tools. You're it's like, is it, it going to work? Is it going to work? And then it goes. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so, let's chuck that roof on here and see what it looks like. All right, we can try it. It's going to be a little bit mismatchy, like maybe these need to get, you know, moved out of the way. I don't know. We'll find out. It's hard saying, not knowing. So yeah, let's just do that. That way we can lay it on it without really folding anything up. Because I know that these are mellower. Let's chuck it on. All there. right, now. How you doing? 
looks better already it's that's lowered that's chopped pretty radically well definitely not a sedan anymore it's pretty chopped yeah yeah fortunately the rear of those doors are good exactly what i was going to yeah. ask So I guess we're going to think on this for a little while and do a little nip it and tuck in, but already I like it. I could see it's interesting. It looks like this car is smaller. Look how far back this deck lid wants to come. Well, I guess they're close. No, look, this is a bigger car. It is longer 41. back. It's longer, kind of got more of a slope. Mm -hmm. This in here is more. Yeah kind of more dramatic as it goes down. Yeah, interesting. Wider too, much wider. Look how wide it Are is. Are you thinking that we'll have to split it down the middle? Well, what we're talking about is not using this dome, right? Yeah. So maybe we disconnect the window, put each side on. And it go from put there? Put the window back in, put the roof cap on. Makes sense. It may make sense. Not to everybody, but it makes sense what you're telling me, though. Perfect sense to me. I don't see any problem. Yeah, interesting. That's that's a much wider car because this one is basically flushed up. You would have figured a coupe would have been smaller, as but opposed the, to a sedan. But the year difference. So, so this, this is, is a, a year newer. That's 40. somebody said it's a totally different car. So the guy told me. So this is a forty-one. Look how much wider through the pillars. This one's yeah. on the outside of the pillar. That's four inches wider. Is that pillar line up? How much you got hanging on the inside? Four, oh, no. four oh, or five inches. Oh my gosh, we got like, yeah. we got like five inches. Look at this, one, Jamie. So that pillar, that B pillar is lined up. Look how much wider the car is. There's no other way to do it than what you said. That's huge. We're going to have to clip it. So we don't want to use this roof dome. So we're going to come in right around here. We're going to take the back window right out. We're going to cut this thing right down the middle. Make it smaller. That is four inches wider. So with that being said, would you leave the back together for now and pull that in? Or are we going to cut all the way through? I think we're going to end up cutting the deck lid. And yeah, we're going to, we're going to narrow the, the trunk lid. Yep. So you're saying come right through here and cut it all the way back to here? I think we'll take the back window out in a square. Take that back window out. We'll cut right through here. Yep, right through the middle of it all. Yep. That way there's no roof cap. So basically our cut comes from here and up to here. Okay. Or maybe we'll go over the top just for safety. Maybe we'll stay up in here. Kind of yeah. like the uh, Volkswagen roof you we'll put on right a Dodger, here. the Dodger Lodger off the Dodge, right? Same concept. Same concept. Exactly. Design. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> and it makes sense, right? To the. To well, the I know. I know are, what you're. I know what you're saying. Now. We are doing a chop class. I'm learning right now. Facts. Right. So we'll save this if we got to work with it because we know the dome is going to go away. Okay. And then we'll come in, I think we'll keep it about that far off the roof. And you want to cut over in the window. Right through the seam right here. Right through all this body filler. Yeah, <laughs> right through the half inch of body filler. Yeah. <laughs> that way we'll keep the window frame. Because in here, yeah, there's nothing. That's a doubled up, but that's okay. We'll just. Would it be okay that. if we cut through this? Yeah. Well, there you go. Then, well, I just want to keep this distance straight. I'll let you do it. Pretty much there. Pretty much like that. And then this cut will go right up. See, playing with chalk was always fun on the playground too. You can use it on the car. Mm -hmm. All kinds of fun. That guy has a mitt. <laughs> you never did that for Thanksgiving? Oh, absolutely. That kind of looks like the turkey I ate for dinner. See, a natural born artist now. 
Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. So you want to disc it up? Yeah. You feel like working more? What are you talking about? All right. That's why I'm here. All right. I feel like get working to slit. Maybe we'll take out the back window first. How many inches? Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, just to get that window issue. Let's see how it looks on the camera. Oh, it almost looks like it's going backwards on the visor. The car looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Yep, nothing like a five inch chop and a roof swap. The metal work is pretty fast and furious, but I mean, it is what it is. Because <clears throat> everybody's got some shit to Ian, say. Ian, what's the deal, man? I gotta say, you two really nailed it. All I did was stand here and point fingers. You did all the work. Where'd the week go? <laughs> Flew by. <laughs> yeah, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a little bit today. So not long hour days, but you guys uh, did some roof swapping for sure. Would you like to uh, explain exactly how this happened? Just got crazy with the grinder and the welder. That's, that's what it boils down to. And the fact that that later model roof was a full four inches wider than the, the early body you spliced it into. This is the uh, 1940 rear window. We decided that would be a good call. Seems to line up pretty well with the yeah. five inch chop. Uh, I'm going to get into finishing off this roof skin because the A team is plumb out of time. They got work to do back at home. Back to reality. Well, yeah. Yeah, right. Fantasy world is over. So we decided that a five inch chop, it might be a little bit more, five and an eighth, five and a quarter, but uh, you see, it gives it that authentic gangster vibe for gangster sure. Gangster vibe for sure. That yeah, for sure. and uh, I'll work on getting these window. Huh? <laughs> you never know. But I have one. I have one important question. I have my official Bob Barker microphone. So tell us, Dave, what was your most exciting part about the entire week? Getting to hang out with my idol, and that's you. Oh. And Jamie. You mean to say it wasn't your stay at the illustrious downtown Mojave <laughs> Motel Six? <laughs> well. You Bob, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes when you come to Mojave, you get a little more than you expected, but I guess all the magic happened here in this shop. You bet, man. I appreciate you having us. Yeah, man, all good. Y'all come back real soon. Anytime. Anytime that you need help, you holler. Right on. Well, we're going to help Dave promote his YouTube channel. There'll be a link in this. What's yeah. Your Riley Restorations. You can see me at YouTube or... Instagram, Riley Restorations as well. So, R I L E Y, and I'm not going to spell restorations for you. That's a big word. M O U. -S -S. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Here, a little bit more. And just so you know, Ian, and where are you located? Bar Bob Barker yeah. was married to my aunt. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nah. No, oh, true story. Wow. Back Small in world. the 70s. Interesting. Yep. Did he ever talk to you like that when you were a young man? Uh, Bob, <laughs> I just want to spin the wheel. Okay. <laughs> but no, I never got the meeting, but he was married to my aunt in the 70s, and she got cancer and passed on. Interesting. So yeah, it was kind of crazy. Back. Small yeah. world. Yeah. So. Now this has been a killer experience for us, right, Red? Yeah. 
And thank you so much again. Yeah, man. If you're ever on Route 66, yep. check him out. You'll see yep. the Pinterceptor. You got the and Pinterceptor. A brand yeah. new project. Yep. Coming out there. We did a little uh, horse trading out here. I'm not going to spoil the fun just yet and reveal it. But uh, yeah, he brought a really cool car and he's going home with a really cool car. Cool. I can't wait to see what you do with it next. Me either, man. I got a lot of work to do. This is project cool. four in the, in the shack. So. What do you think you're going to do engine wise? Uh, definitely a V8, something that's, you know, fit for the freeway, something that could drive. So I don't know if it'll be a full chassis swap, but obviously 100% a front clip minimal, lowered air suspension, but more like a classic look, you know. The other car, the donor car, the gray one, mm -hmm. was more street rotted, you know. It had a lot of billet parts and a tilt front end. This car, being authentic, I love so it. So you think you'll uh, Z-notch the frame here and slide something else in? Possibly. You could put a Mustang 2 kit, it'll go right to right those frame it. rails. Oh. Drop it, like yeah. right there. Then C-notch the back and put bags all right around. Yeah, that's the way get it, it on the ground. Because the chassis is in great shape. I mean, yeah. the car is very, very solid. So why mess with a good thing, you know? So the, they all at home know this was a sedan, right? It was originally a sedan, and this is a coupe, a 41 coupe that you put on here. Yeah. So and you put on it. Well, that you put on. I, I mean, I, I stuck it in place, but you made it count. But uh, yeah, five inch chop through all the pillars. You can see the difference in the window detail from the different year. The 41, you can see this action here with this dimension and the 40 is significantly different. So in our discussion, and I'll get into that later, we're going to splice in the cool detail of this sl factory slanted B pillar and follow this window line through the early model doors so that it all works. It's kind of a yeah, it's kind of a fusion of years. This guy is so creative. It just blows my, blows my mind how he can look at a car and know what he's going to do before he even does it. I knew last week what I was going to do, man. It just seemed to work out. That is so awesome, I think. Do you feel like you learned a lot this week? Actually, yes. I learned some cool things from you, and I appreciate the, hmm. the knowledge. You mean how to just cut a car into 50 pieces without even measuring? <laughs> well... <laughs> I, you know, I just kind of... Eh, eh. <clears throat> That's just how uh, we worked on this. Because this is something that I had kind of thought about and Dave was following through in, in good form. Because I was like, no, just look at the drip rail. Just shoot your eye right down there and that's your line. As long as that looks straight and these lines all match up to make the windows roll up, there you are. So, yeah. All these drip rails are going to get shaved. You see we got rot in there. So... Um, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress, but this 41 was smashed. That shed did a number on it. I wasn't really a fan of the sedan roof on this, but I love right. the car. So there you have it, a mashup. The best of both things. It's going to be a rad, rad ride for sure. Yeah. Are there any questions from the editor in chief? Well then, that's a wrap. Safe travels home. Thank you. <laughs>